I'm going to make soup again today because we're getting into the cooler months of the year. This is the week of Thanksgiving. It's going to be Thanksgiving on Thursday. So it's the end of or near the end of November, November, December, January, February, March, early April. That's all good soup weather. So what I want to make today is a Tuscan white bean and barley soup. But first I have to prep the beans because rather than using a can of cooked cannellini beans, I happen to have dry beans. I bought a big bag and I portioned them. This is eight ounces, 227 grams. This will give me more than I need because a, a can of cannellini beans is about 15 and a half ounces, which is 440 grams. This will probably give me um, closer to 20 ounces, maybe 18 to 20 ounces. So, but I'm going to cook these in my uh, instant pot using my pressure cooker to cook these so that I can use them in my soup. My instant pot cookbook said to soak the beans for 20 to 25 minutes and then cook them for 35 to 40 minutes. The thing is the beans are going to also be cooked in the soup for a while. So I'm going to do pot in pot. That's how I like to do beans. If you're running Wondering what this string is for, it's to lift this pot out when it's hot. So I don't have to get my fingers in there and possibly hurt myself. So put my beans in there. And then plenty of water. I have about a cup of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot. And there's a trivet in there to hold the bowl above the um, bottom of the pot. Put enough water in there to cover the beans well. That should be okay. Put the lid on. Set it to ceiling. Press um, pressure cook. And, oops, wrong button. I want to come down to um, 20 minutes. 23, 22, 21. No, that's 3, 2, 1. 20 minutes. And that is set at high pressure. The silver button went down on my instant pot. So, I'm ready to open this up and take my first taste of the beans to see how tender they are. Where's my red handle tasting spoon? Okay, one bean, and if this is too firm, I can always cook them longer. No, that's perfect. It's a little al dente. That'll get a little more tender when I cook those in the soup. So right now, get this out of the way. See, this is that string is for. So I can lift it up without burning my hands. Get this out of the way, then I have to drain my beans. I've got a pot heating on the stove. I'm going to put some olive oil in there, a tablespoon or two. This is my cooking olive oil. It's refined or pure olive oil. It has a higher smoke point. It won't burn as easily as extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm going to be putting one small onion in there, chopped. That came to about one cup, or about five ounces by weight, 140 grams. And I'm going to cook that over medium heat. I need to turn my heat down now. Until that onion is well cooked, I want to even caramelize it some, because I don't like the flavor of onion in soups unless it's really cooked well. So that'll take probably, I don't know, 10 minutes to caramelize that up nicely. You can see how well caramelized I got those onions. And what I did was I turned the heat down a little bit, a little bit, a little bit as they got browner and browner. I'm cooking on low right now. What I've got here is one stalk of celery 
chopped, and then one carrot chopped. Both of those about medium in size. I'm going to bring the heat back up to medium. And then I'm going to cook these vegetables maybe four or five minutes just to kind of sweat them a little bit. Maybe you'll notice something different about the carrot. Some of these down toward the bottom where they were small, I just did round slices. I thought it might be interesting in the soup. Okay, these vegetables have been cooking a little bit. I'm going to grind some black pepper in there. I don't know, an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon. Whatever you like. And then I have one clove of garlic that I'm going to crush in there. Okay. And this is a scant teaspoon, a little bit less, of Italian seasoning. Any herbs that you like, you can put in there. I think herbs de Provence might be a nice flavor. And I'm going to cook this for no more than one minute, just to kind of cook that garlic a little bit. Next, I'm going to add one half cup of barley. And I weighed that. It came to about 70 grams. And then if you have it, one 15 and a half ounce or 440 gram can of cannellini beans. This or these are the beans that I just cooked. Then I have one 14 and a half ounce or 410 gram can of diced tomatoes. You can use whole tomatoes and then chop them up. Then I have two and a half cups, 590 milliliters of unsalted stock. I'm using chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock if you prefer. I'm going to bring the heat back up to medium high under this. Stir all that together. It's looking good already, isn't it? So as you can see, this pot is just starting to come to the boil. And what I'm going to do when this gets going pretty well is I'm going to remove it from this burner and move it to the back burner because this is a simmer burner back there. The trick with um, tender beans like cannellini beans is you don't want to agitate them too much when you're cooking them because they'll break up. And then I'm going to cook this. I'm going to cover the pot and cook this for 25 to 30 minutes or until that barley is tender. I'm ready to cover this. Turn this heat off. Turn on my rear burner. And then slide this back to that simmer burner. Ooh, that pan is hot. Those handles get hot. That's the one complaint about these pans. They look nice, but boy, these handles get hot. All right, that's simmering. This finished up a few minutes ago. I let it sit for a while just to let the handles cool enough so that I could touch them without burning myself. Okay. Some of you know what's coming next. Salt. You'll know I didn't cook with any salt, so this is going to be needing seasoning. Let's see, I don't want to use that. I'll use this to gently stir that in. Doesn't that look good? Oh, that looks good. I did check this to make sure that the um, barley was tender. Yes, it is. Let's see, red handle tasting spoon. Where is it? All right, taste this for salt. 
This has had a chance to cool a little bit too. Nope, needs more salt. I didn't cook with any salt, so I'm expecting this to need some salt. All right, try this again. I don't want to put my spoon back in there after it's been in my mouth, so I'll do it this way. Can leave that in there. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. It's just about salty enough. Boy, that looks good. Look at that. Tuscan white bean and barley soup. Slide this out of the way without touching the pan. Okay. And then you can garnish this with something green like chopped fresh parsley or chopped fresh um, basil. But I shredded up some Parmesan cheese. And that now is ready to taste. So there it is. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, that's really good. So many interesting flavors in that. That is really good. Ooh, that is nice. All right, excuse me, I'm going to go enjoy my bowl of Tuscan white bean and barley soup.